welcome to Cage Face, Case 1, The Mine. Uh, it is a remake of the original Cage Face, which I played... I can't remember when, but I just, I played it before. But now it's more complete and better than before. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm not also not wearing my beanie. I've grown a little bit of hair, my hair is still short. I still want to grow it out more, because, I mean, it's just, it's not as fluffy. It's still short. Because I keep on shaving the sides and the back and everything. I, just, I gotta get my fluff back. Either way. Um, the game contains images that may be violent and disturbing, but for the best experience, play in the dark. Well, I can't do that. Ah, oh, yeah, it's just as I remember, though. Like, you're in a room at first. I... I regret the things I did when I was young. And as I became old and gray, I still seek an answer to what I've done. I don't think the emptiness in my heart will ever feel full if I don't pay for what I did. Well, I have no idea what the code is, but multiple stab wounds to the body. Okay. Game credits. Uh, picture of cage face with a dead bird. Oh. Mm, I don't think this will help me find the code. It probably is in game. Ooh. Ah, uh, let's just do normal. I'd have to double check. Multiple auto saves. Illness progresses. Wait. Illness progress. Oh, okay. This is the difficulty. Multiple multiple auto saves exist, and illness progresses at the standard rate. Hardcore is one auto save, and illness progresses at a faster rate, and the effects are stronger. Yeah, once you enter the mines, I, I remember now. Time is of the essence, and you start to die! Oh, jeez. So let's start with the events that happened in the mine, if you feel you're able to. What is with this person's face? Jesus. Me and my bud had just graduated from high school, and we were soon gonna be leaving for college. We couldn't wait. We'd finally get to leave that dump of a town once and for all. But we also kind of wanted to leave our mark there, you know? So my friend knew about this shutdown mine. They were reopening for use. The miners were gonna work on it in a bit in the morning and take the rest of the day off. So we figured we could sneak in at night and take the place. So the time came, but it turned out my flashlight was old and pretty faulty. My dad did hunting, though. And he legit had a night vision scope. I figured he wouldn't notice it was gone when I got... To the mine, my friend was there. I figured he'd just gone in without me, is all. Turns out I was right. He'd used a ladder to get over some big metal gate. I went in the same way he did and started looking for him. Ah, uh, WSD, E to interact, or, or left click. Hold for night vision scope. Ah, uh, quick turn, possibly. Let's take controls. It's pretty interesting for a first person game, but. Uh, flashlight, middle mouse button. Oh, jeez, I might forget these. To use an item, scroll to temporarily select the item and interact with it. With enough stamina, you can run through unlocked doors without stopping. Cool. I don't think there'll be a reason we need to turn off. Whoa. Uh. Oh, cool. I don't think there'll be a reason we need to do that. I don't know when we start dying if it's not instantly, or it's at some... The switch would open the metal door if it had power. Hmm. In case the power outage, use the backup generator located in the section between east and west areas. Hmm. Key. Also, the game runs very smooth. I like that. This flashlight. Good thing I packaged my father's night vision scope. storage room. No one reads the reports around here, so I'll put this up here. After putting away the jerry can, I noticed the center support frame snapped, and that ceiling could come down at any moment. So to make sure no one wanders in here and gets badly injured, I barred the door. If there's anything you were keeping in the storage room, just wait until we've properly inspected and secured it. Okay. It's good, at least the night vision is better for looking down this hallway, but for looking at things you'll need to read without the night vision on. Hmm. 
Thankfully we can run with this. And the stamina is actually not bad either. But it'll likely get worse the more... Uh, ahead of time. He started tagging without me. He could have waited. Where the hell is he though? Our stamina might get butchered the further in we get. We'll follow the left way first. Well, I hope I don't get lost. Combination lock. Shit. We'll be collecting supplies to help remove the debris from the collapsed tunnel. I know the supervisor said otherwise, but I still think we should get some proper gear to test if there's any toxic gases around here. You can never be too careful with these old mines. Yeah. That's why you need the canary. The door is clearly unlocked, but something must be keeping it locked from the other side. So I think everything here is complete. This whole section is done. The only thing left is this door, that one, and one over there. I remember this. Is this my friend? Holy shit, he's dead. I don't know what the hell did this to him, but I'm not about to sit around and find out. The metal door is blocking me though, how am I gonna get out? Maybe you have something that can help me, sorry buddy. Ah, East Area Key. Not for this area. Um, that was a combination lock. So not that. There was another door, wasn't there? Was there? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, the start. <laughs> uh oh. Yep. It's happening. It's already happening. Ugh. Because then if we want to get the better ending, I think we have to... Like, there's two endings? Or three endings? One where you die... Oh, oh, jeez, he's... Alright. Oh, jeez, uh, 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 okay, well, no, I'm dead. Ooh. Well, we got, uh... Pickaxed. Can we, can we reverse? Damn. Well then. We got, uh... Kind of brutally murdered. I wasn't expecting him to show up right then and there. Seriously. Do you have the key? Okay, we have the key. This is right before we start coughing then. Oh, right after we cough. Alright. So, he just... Pops out of nowhere. I guess we have to run further into the mine. Wait, what? Almost got killed again. Yep. Hmm. I think the problem is I'm using the night vision goggles. And I can't open doors with that, so... Hang on. Maybe we'll... <laughs> He literally just phased through the wall. I didn't think he had the power to do that. So he can really pop... Oh, oh, he can pop out of nowhere. So the problem is like this. You see, I, I can't... Left click... Actually, yeah. Left click... I can't interact with things with the night vision goggles. That's only for exploration mode. So my problem is... When I tried to escape before... I, I you know, just couldn't. Oh, also, maybe we could just jump in here. Toggle, look around. He might just pull me out and kill me, but we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, weird. This would be... Hmm?
We'll wait a little bit. Huh? There's actually, I think it's like a Metal Gear, maybe a Metal Gear uh, Solid kind of mechanic. Where... He'll... Don't know if that's ambience or him. I'm gonna assume ambience. But yeah, you can run and hide to get away from him. But that's still wasting time. We have temporary, like, we, we die of poison. So the more we wait, the more we look around, the worse things will get. Backup generator. Okay. So, I mean, it just means when we want to play it in hardcore, we have to speed run the game, basically. I did that in the original, uh, the original game before this one. But that was so long ago, and the level's completely different. Um, do note the generator's mostly around in case we have a power outage. It needs an a Yeah, for the front gate. It needs an ignition key, and it uses special fuel, and won't take anything else. Both of those can be found in the fuel storage room. The code is... Okay. I think the combination is those specifically. So let's see. Uh, Alright, and it also says, keep an eye on the time. I'm gonna assume it's like, look at the clock in those rooms specifically. What I have to be cautious of is getting a surprise visit by him and me running and trying to, you know, like, grab these things, escape, not run into him, and turn off the night vision. Oh, and make sure my nose doesn't get a cheat. Oh, God, my nose. All right, this room is... Is it Gibbous? It's just storage room. Oh, shit. All right. I think I lost him. At least there's to be a, a place to hide in here. I'm empty. Jeez, ah, that doesn't help me at all. Nothing else? Oh, jeez. No. Jesus. Nope. Run. Yeah, let's go on the another one. My character's breathing heavier. I might just die simply to the poison. All right. Um, the empty jerry can. What can I even do with that? It's not like I can use that. Um... Oh, clock. Um... Are you kidding me? God damn it, you bastard. So I have to look for the clock, son. But he keeps distracting me. I have no idea how much time I have, though. But we can hear we're, we're wheezing. So, that's not a good sign. Okay, so let's see. Stop examine. Um... What? Waning gibbous. Uh, okay, I get it. Um... Saying to check the time, but waning gibbous is okay. So it's a clock, but wait, zero is twelve. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Is full six o'clock? Uh, I'm just gonna, yeah. So, young should be one. So, let's see. Um, Waning Gibbous should be four. 
Actually, that's waxing gibbous, never mind. The code should be six. Waning quarter, so it's six, seven? I have to make sure it was waning quarter and not waxing and I misread or something. And old should be nine. So unless the word, was it waxing? No, okay, so it should be six, seven, nine. I'm not sure if new games make it so the code changes or not. Six, seven, nine. Excellent. Police this week found the bodies of two men in the something subway, identified as blah blah, and a correspondent for the precinct states that the MO is very similar to the something death of a still unidentified man on the something freeway, and are warning that this may be a sign of the serial killer despite the something distance between the two incidents. Some sources have dubbed him as the Tunnel Man, as speculation on these deaths has been mounting. Generator key, nice. Now if I could find some fuel. Oh. Wait. Oh, it shows their sickness. I don't understand that. Hang on. If I eat... Damn it. Alright, whatever. We got both things we need. Is that, is that it? Shit. Is that all I, is that all I needed to do to escape in this game? Oh! No! I got out accidentally hit the wrong key. Fuck me. Mm. Okay, he is stupid. Okay. I spoke too soon. I'm curious though if that's all there is to the game, if it's just like a really short remake. Or after that I can actually leave. The original game wasn't long, but it was definitely longer than this. I'll have to do this again, god damn it. I have to do this and then go to the elevator. Done and boop. Fucking bird. Oh, let me out. Oh. Once I got the gate open, I got out of there as quickly as possible. I couldn't help but glance back, th uh, though. But that thing was gone, nowhere to be seen. I didn't feel like sticking around, so I just kept running around and made my way home. It was late as hell, and my parents had noticed I was gone, so they were up and ready to chew me out for it. But they forgot about that pretty quickly when they saw the estate I was in. I was in shock, and at some point I even started puking. You have to understand that the events you described are rather extraordinary. You might have been in shock, or perhaps the mine had residual gas that affected your mind. Your monster could have just been a regular man. I wasn't imagining things, damn it. There was a damn monster in there. Listen, I understand that you're very stressed right now, but there are so much. Uh, there are much more reasonable explanations than that. And you wouldn't believe me. There's some kind of weird creature in those mines, and if you were all smart, you'd be telling people to stay away from them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely really optimized. But there's two more things we have to do. Hard mode to see if we get a different ending. And... Dying to the gas. I'll have to double check the uh, store page to see if there's anything more, like, known endings or something secretive. I really wouldn't think so. The level's very short. Whereas the older game and 
I'll probably have it where the card at the start of the video will showcase uh, the original video if you want to see just what the game used to look like. But the level I remember from when I played it was like a lot longer. The caves was lengthier, like it, it was a, quite the distance of running. This is a lot more shorter, so a lot less uh, distance filler, which is good in my opinion. Because in this it's just like, literally, solve a simple puzzle. It's like a little test of what's to come, basically. And the other thing I have to imagine is, what is in the box in the main menu? I'm curious. Let's see if we can use the code uh, from prior. Damn. What about the corny 666? Wait. I'm going to imagine it's the note that has the password. The word old is capitalized. Mm, young is capitalized. And full. Yeah, maybe I'll just get the code when I do hardcore. If not that, I'll just think about it some more. But yeah. Let's beat hardcore mode and see what happens. The game store page did say there's only one ending, but we'll find out. Because I'll play hardcore mode because I'm a hardcore person. Alright, let's do this quickly now. We have very limited time. We need to quickly get to our dead friend. We don't have to worry about anything, thankfully. In terms of getting attacked yet. What we do have to worry about is choking to death. No, oh, wait. He's right there, but he's not leaving. What the fuck? Uh, well, let's just... We need that hammer! I think this is a weird bug, man. He's not leaving. Unwell. He's stuck for whatever reason. Hmm? Oh, okay, well. Uh, this is just adding time. Time I can't allow. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get everything done quickly. So I can quickly do this. Uh, six, seven, nine. Wait. Maybe it's different. I'll have to actually check the clock then. Oh, waxing gibbous. Oh, it's different. Waxing waning crescent. Okay, the waxing gibbous... Waxing gibbous. It's four... Four... Four waning... Four... Uh... Four, four, eight, nine, four, eight, nine. I think. Oh, behind me! God damn it! I can't see. I'm terminal. Oh, jeez. Was it four, eight, nine? Oh, thank God. We gotta do this quick. Uh, key. Uh, jerry can. We gotta do this quick. I think I'm only half health, so I mean, you don't really, really have to speed run, but... Mm. No! Oh, he knows I'm in here, isn't he? He came in here right at the brink of the jerry can finishing. Hmm? We're not doing too well. 
We're really not doing well. Oh god. Oh come on. Now's not a good time. I'm kind of terminal. I think we're half health, so like we're at the. Mm. Come on, just leave. Leave. Well, we can consider that sort of an ending. It's a unique death, I mean. God damn it. Alright, load last save. We'll see when it is. He just kept distracting me. Seriously. Here I thought I had a bit of time left. Apparently not. What really fucked me over was just the fact that he got stuck in the hallway. So, I'll skip ahead when I'm about to win since we got the gas ending. Or gas death. That's all he'd wanted. He's still wandering around. He doesn't really leave in the walls. Hang on. Boom. Okay, where is he? Nowhere near. Fuck you. I'm gone. Oh yeah! Let's see. Anything different? Mm hmm. Puking. Monster. Ah. No difference! Damn! Here I thought I was gonna possibly get something unique. Damn. Right, we'll have to figure out the code though. I wanna get into that box. Let's see. Actually, it's just sort of dawning on me. It's the same shit from the clocks. It's just you remove waning and gibbous or quarter and. But old is nine. Young was one, if I recall, so I. I think the only thing would be, I don't remember what, young had to be one, old is nine from the clock. I can't remember what full would be, I didn't get full, I had quarter, gibbous, and other shit like that, so I'll have to look in the, I'll look at the clock quickly and come back. Alright, full was damn five, Ugh, the whole time, it's just the clock again. Wait, what? Bank robbery evidence. Exhibit A. Gun found in the sewers. Storage unit key. And a pistol. Huh. I guess it relates... What was it? I think the developer said something in the game store page about it, was it? The developer said there is one ending and it's foreshadowing in the box. There's one ending. One foreshadowing in the box. Hmm. Bank robbery. Mm, oh, well, I, I I can't think. My brain's turned off. It's it's almost two a.m. I have no idea where the hell the time went. Like honestly, I have no damn idea. But either way, interesting game. Um. It's, it's, I guess it's a good introductory game. It's very short, even though the video isn't short. Like, I've been playing now 47 minutes. I have no idea where the time went. Seriously, I have, I have no idea. Wait, also, is this a new note? Oh, letter of the box. If you're reading this note, it's fairly likely I'm no longer around. If you've been following my clues, then you're probably wondering why I'm not just giving all the answers in one go. You see, all this information I've collected over the years is incredibly important to me. Precious, even. And I want to make darn sure, darn sure that if someone finds my paper trail and is willing to put the effort in to follow it, you've either got the care and respect for the evidence I'm looking for, or you're just tenacious enough that you might as well. I've been hunted by this thing my whole life, and I've been hunting for proof and answer. Or answers. By now it's probably no secret that my methods haven't been entirely legal, but I just can't bring myself to let that get in my way. There's a monster out there, and I need to make sure everyone knows it. If you've gone this far, then I'm sure you won't mind going a little deeper, and maybe you can find the clues that will warn the world about this beast. Just sounds like some kind of crazy person who'd be like going crazy about, like, Bigfoot. It's kind of weird. The person's a little crazy. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, man, I hope you enjoyed Cage Face. There'll be more cases in the future for sure. But if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button to become a Flosscarber. Hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Rawr.